hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going back to the village and we are making a fang so i'm using two bowl of palm oil bullion cube and salt free fish dried catfish and our popularly known edge also known as frank fish or african knife fish this fish is so tasty and very expensive if you can get a hold of it please do then i have my afang leaf it's been cut and dried but we need to wash it thoroughly and soak it to so it in a bit then i have different type of beef i have my goat head that's the goat ear the cow skin and the beef so i'm using different type of beef then i have my spinach in case of water leave you use spinach and that's all guys so let's get cooking into a pot i add in all your meat i've washed it again remember i touched it with that dry leaves so i'm putting it in a bowl and i will allow it to cook in its own water so i've washed my half pan leg and i'm adding in the hot water this way because it's really tough just do it now till i'm ready to blend i'm using two scotch bonnets the yellow pepper some uh, some honey or rather so my meat has been cooking for a bit and hiding my Touch bonnet pepper and my onion. So I'll allow this to cook for approximately five minutes again, just for the pepper to mix well and the whole thing to cook because the cow skin is a bit hard. So and I really like soft meat, so I just allow them to cook at the same time and you mix well. And after this, with I'm adding in all my dried fish, my dried catfish, and my dried frank fish. African knife fish that my expensive one this fish can be nice with a goose in case you like a goose so just try this fish with it and come and test so make sure you drop a comment about it when you are done cooking it takes the whole stew or the whole soup to be a new different level and I have to try with my afang soup so I can see the result because the fish is actually really tasty and after mixing we are adding my salt and my bullion peel then I mix well at, at this rate one thing about Afghan soup is it's just one pot and you, everything is ready and the taste is just different remember my palm oil earlier that, that was so liquid it's so cold here yeah, that any small thing everything turns so sunny but I'm adding it like that anyway it will get liquid back in the pot then I'm mixing well and I covered a bit as well as the food is cooking i'll be adding in some of the great fish at this rate then i'll be adding the rest almost at the end of the cooking process so it's still well and that's it guys a little reminder if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe like follow and share and if you're returning for subscribe by i'm saying a big thank you welcome back and if you are new to this channel, thank you for coming. Thank you for staying true. Then I will cover and we'll go to our afan leaf. Remember, we've been soaking this afan leaf for a while. In case you came through this page or through this video, we soak this afan leaf because it's really tough and we need it to be soft. So we've been soaking it from the beginning of the video and I'll be blending at this rate. So you have to do is you can use a sieve to scoop it out because sometimes there might be sand underneath you never can tell but to be on the safe side just scoop it out with a sieve and add some water then we blend so after blending and this is how it looks like can you see this guys so soft and it looks so pasty my spinach has been washed so i'm just rough cutting who does the word like rough cutting it's not necessarily doesn't really need to be smooth and i'm using spinach to replace water leaf because water leaf is not so easy to get around there so in case you have spinach you can also use it like it's almost the same thing so my spinach is roughly cut and i'll be adding it to my soup as well so this is how it looks after cutting you don't need to cut smoothly really then i'll open my pot and look at that such a place i love food so much see me blushing then i'm adding in my half pan 
paste after blending yeah i'm hiding it at this way then i'll mix well and i allow to cook also after mixing for roughly a minute or so then i allow to cook through for about two minutes after two minutes i'm hopefully the pot look at that goodness and i'm adding in our palm oil remember that one we put in the bowl in the beginning of the video and we added one earlier so yeah the code made it solid yeah so i'm adding it other sweet to get it pretty fine the steel the soap rather then i'm mixing well after mixing for a bit i will allow the palm oil to cook through leaving the alfang in it you know the alfang is tough anyway so why not cook through with it then I will cover and allow to cook for a bit so that the palm oil will be well cooked and how I add my spinach at this rate and that's it guys the spinach and the crayfish should be the last one of the last things to add really because the spinach can actually be eaten like this because it's washed and ready to eat spinach that I'm using then I'm adding in my crayfish so that I can just mix at once instead of mixing and pouring and mixing. Yeah. So after mixing together, I will just off my up and allow the steam to cook through the alpha and with the spinach. And that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like comment and share if you find this video very useful to you please give it a thumbs up so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video have a wonderful day bye everyone